What's going on, Facebook? Chef Joab here at Flavor Square. George behind the camera. You, you. What's going on? What's going on, George? Nothing. Same old, same old. Same old, um, same We have old. some sad news today. Um, okay. Let me just uh, put the chat over here. I want to make sure I'm able to see who's in, who's watching us tonight. So just give me a second. We're back up. We up. If for any reason the stream goes down, for any reason, Let us YouTube know. is up. So you can go to YouTube. Right here, George, put, put this so they can see that. YouTube.com slash C slash Flavor Square. And you can see the stream there, just in case, because Facebook is being acting up a little bit. So, Flavor Square. Listen to that. See the stream there. Okay, let me just click here. And we're in business. And before we start. Is there anybody on? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. All right. So we had some unfortunate events yesterday. Yeah, we did. Um, but um, we lost the technician. We're working on it. He got fired. We lost the technician yesterday. <laughs> the technician got it's fired. Okay. This is in memory of uh, Damon. Damon, we miss you and we love you. Technician got fired. So, oh, look at him. That's what happened. That what that's what happened to him after he messed up the computer. You know what I'm saying? He got, he you know he he got it good. He got a hit in the kidney. <clears throat> he got it good. Anyways, today's show, easy recipe at home. We're going with pork chops. I told you guys we were doing pork chops. Um, you guys are going to like it. Trust me. Something easy, simple. We're going with pork chops. We're going to do some uh, potato cur uh, curly fries. Um, obviously, I showed you guys yesterday how to use this machine. And I don't want to keep promoting for free. But anyways, this little machine. Um, that's what we do, the curly fries, obviously. Do everything. I mean, we use this machine a lot. Yeah, you just put the potato here. I don't want to do another demo because we did it already. I don't want to keep going with the same thing over and over. So basically, you put the potato here. Spiral. And you go. And the potatoes, this is what comes out of it. So we have our curly fries over here. That's what we, uh, this is the garnish for the pork chops tonight. So something easy, simple. We have our pork chop over here. We're gonna do a little glaze to go with the pork chops. It'll be um, with spiced rum. So it'll be good, trust me. George, so what happened yesterday with Damon? I mean, he's supposed to be here. We had to let him go for a bit because- Damon got I mean, caught up. I mean, Damon, 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 unlike us, actually has a job. So, yeah, no. <laughs> you know, he actually has to work for a living. Excuse me. We had to uh, give him a break after yesterday. Anyways, let's get going. Let's get cooking. <clears throat> so, we have these little pork chops. Little? Yeah. Those I actually like wanted to get bigger than... Those are like... One. Nah, those are nice size, bro. That's nice size? Whoa. What I was going to say something, but I'm going to avoid the word. Oh, my goodness. I'm not and saying it no more. <laughs> come to this, uh, to the phone here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. So, hi, YouTube. First night we are in YouTube. First night we're live on YouTube. Kind of happy because it's been a rough week trying to get this together. And uh, between me and George today, we came in at six in the morning just to check each cable. Okay. No, I'm, I'm no, playing, six in the uh, afternoon, more I'm like six, six thirty-seven. Well, we're yeah. just checking the cables. You should have seen George's face when I said that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, YouTube is up. If for any reason it drops, which I doubt. Uh, you can go to YouTube, you can continue there while we uh, fix whatever we gotta fix. Anyways, let's, let's get started in here. So, I have the oil going over here, it's warming up for the curly fries. We have the pork chops. I'm going with just a tidy bit of healthy food today. You're gonna see what I mean? <laughs> pork chops, healthy food, all right. You're gonna see what I mean by it, you'll see. I'm not a healthy touch tonight. Potato. Deep I'm not a healthy potato. touch. <laughs> Deep fried potato and pork chops, but we got healthy limes. <laughs> Was healthy? Yeah, we got healthy limes, thyme, and garlic. And oh my God. And, and, and oh, a little dude, bit of dude, wait, pause. Everybody stop. There's no <laughs> butter out here. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I, I, uh, I forgot the butter. Can one of you guys go get some you do, butter? You do need butter? I you thought you were like oh, really I doing... Put, I put the container... I thought you were really doing the I put the thing. container over there to get the damn butter. And, um, hey, I, 
There goes that. I was going to give him props for actually not having butter out here. No, but you need that. You need that because butter is life. What? You need what's, butter. What's yeah, this? What, what, what are you doing, what, man? I'm that's just what, trying to see what it this, is. That's the spice rum we're going to use. The spice rum? I don't know. You know what? Let me put this here far away from you. Because, you know what, let me move it from the computer because last time <laughs> we had something like this next to the computer and somebody dropped it. I don't want to keep going with it. Anyways, pork chops. We got pork chops. I'm going to start seasoning. You know what, let me uh, turn this on real quick. You can't season them. You don't have the butter yet. It's okay because I have to <laughs> see here and, you know, make sure I, we get that nice color. So, salt. We go with salt. A little heavy because you can see the size on the on the pork chops. And um, before I keep going, you can see that I put a butcher's twine on the pork chop. And the reason why I do that is that I want to keep the shape on the meat, and also I want the meat to uh, I want the meat to keep. The, you know what they the, wouldn't wouldn't calculate though, bro. What was that? This is that camera's picking everything else up. What do you mean? Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah? It's all right. Hey, YouTube. We got Facebook at the same time as you guys, so that's why. Anyways, you see that? Life. Butter. Butter. Anyways, let's keep going. Anyways, again, the, the twine. I want to keep the shape on the meat, and I want it to uh, cook evenly. That's why I, you put the butcher twine on the meat. Steaks, when you're roasting, uh, pork, when you're going to do some pork chop. So that's the reason why. Anyways. Pepper. We got some pepper. And you flip this. Pepper again. And we're going to sear them. I'm so prepared today that, you know, I even forgot to open everything, but. It's flavor square, like I said. Hey, Everything safety happens, first, bro. Safety first. I hear you. It happens. Anyway, you can see that this is hot. You gotta Ooh. keep. Gotta stay protected. What was that? You gotta stay protected. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna see this. George, close up, please. Excuse me. And we have the pork chops going. So again, basically what you want to do here, you want to give it a nice sear on it. At least I can, you get a close-up over here on the pork chops. You can control, oh yeah, there you go. So basically, you want to get the nice sear on the pork chop. You know, get that mylar reaction going, which George don't like. <laughs> He's laughing right now. I wish you could see his face. So, we're gonna give it a nice color. We're gonna add some garlic. We're gonna add some thyme. Uh, baste it, and it's going in the oven. So when we cook pork chops, you have to cook it at an internal temperature of 165 degrees. That's medium. And George is laughing again. I can see you up all night studying this stuff. No, it's you know. because nah, I mean you're in the kitchen. You just cook. Like it's not. You're not looking at terminologies and all that stuff. You're just cooking and. A cook you don't just want to knows when things we're already are right. been We've already been through this, so I, we, we don't want to go there. So, you know, I just want to get my nice color. I'm going to leave it alone. Leave it there. So, this is going. I got, when we sear this, I'm going to get rid of the fat, and I'm going to use the same pan to do my little glaze. Uh, I'm not doing any crazy sauce, because it takes time for me to show you that. It's basically a whole day of, uh, uh, not a whole day, uh, uh, just a whole segment on, on the sauce, uh, to do a, a stock and then do a sauce and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, I, we can have that for a show, like how to actually make stock, break we down. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the vegetables that we use, we chop up, we're keeping the ends, the peels and stuff like that. We make vegetable stock out of them, uh, bones from uh, beef, chicken you know, scraps that we won't, you know, regularly use for the actual food, we keep to the side, put them in freezer bags and freeze it, take them out and we actually make stock with everything. <laughs> now, something you can do with the pork chops ahead of time is that, ahead of time, excuse me, you can put it in a simple bag, add garlic, 
onions or shallots and uh, thyme and olive oil. You know, you marinate it overnight, you know, at least eight hours. So you can get, you know, that flavor concentrated, uh, concentrated on that meat. Um, it's pretty good when you do that. Let me check uh, my pork chops. And they're almost there, almost there. Oh yeah, almost there. This is not, these are not thin pork chops. Like, when you go to the supermarket, you gotta actually butcher to cut it a little bit thicker. Ooh, so what's, what's something that's not thin? What was that? What's something that's not thin? Fat. Okay. Okay? Asshole. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean. Stop cursing, dick. Really? <laughs> We're not we're not on PBS right now. Okay, so, so I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna flip them over. George, if you want to take a, <laughs> Alyssa. Wow. So that's what you want. You want to sear it. Nice and caramelized. Nice and caramelized. There you go. That's what you're looking for. I'm, I'm trying to resist the temptation to like touch it. <laughs> yeah, whenever whenever we're sauteing, like I always want to touch it, make sure it's. Wow, I was gonna say nice and hard, but I'm I'm just gonna stop right oh. there. <laughs> I'm leave Excuse it me. Alone. <laughs> so if you so get that nice ear on that. So the more Cialago reaction is happening now. <laughs> the Maralago, right? Maralago. What was that? The Mar-a-Lago reaction. My lord, George. Stick to Come on, yeah. we, we already been through this a few. They said stick to messing up the camera feed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what, what's messing up the camera? Huh? No, no they said stick to, to messing up the camera feed. Stop trying to be technical and scientific. Anyways, um, I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna, I want to sear the sides. You see, that's why the twine is there, to keep the shape on them. Because if you don't keep that twine, they're going to go a little bit flatter and uh, be messes up the whole thing. It's cute. They got like little belts. You should see the belt George got me. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna, for next week, I'm going to wear that. Well, eventually we're going to start cook-off, so Joab needed a championship belt that everybody had to contend for. So, yeah, we got, we got a nice little surprise one. See, you want to get, at least render some of the fat on the side. So you want to do that. And it smells good in here. Whoa. There you go. We're rendering George right now. <laughs> <laughs> How's YouTube, Alyssa? Pretty good. Cool. All right, so guess what? George, what's, what's going to happen next, George? I have no idea, bro. Oh, you can add butter. Oh. Woo! Look at that. We're basting. Basting. Thyme. Garlic. Guess what? A lot of garlic. Why not? We love garlic. You know, one day I'm going to make you cook hot dogs just to see if you're going to baste them. Trust me, With I'll rosemary and I garlic. I do it. I do it all the time. I baste the hot dogs as well. I feel uh, I'm going to order frosted flakes. Let me you're see. Gonna, you will see. I'm going to order corn flakes like, like Shane said. You will see, bro. Again, butter. Butter is life. Dude, we should buy stock on butter, bro, because everybody loves butter. Yeah, I <laughs> We should, seriously. Butter with pork chops. <laughs> okay, so. You're, you're right. I can see the healthiness. I, you I, see? Yeah. Healthy. I Look at all the, that yeah. green stuff in there. This is extremely green light, ladies and gentlemen. Green is healthy. Green is healthy. So, leave that alone there. And um, let me check my... Let me check my oil real quick. See if it's hot enough. Nah. Okay. Yes. Okay, it's, it's going, it's going. I'm gonna go and baste. Man, that smells good. Woo! Beautiful. You want that butter to get in there. Yes. You're like the most excited, excited chef I've ever met in my life. No. Not exciting. What excited. about that guy that goes like this? <laughs> what about the guy that goes, goes like this? He, 
That one goes. Yeah, you gotta find yourself one of those. Salt Bay. What Salt was it? What is it? Salt Bay? Salt Bay. Salt, Salt Bay. Bay. Salt Bay. You're the man, bro. So you gotta be if like. You're any, if so you're like. You see this video, bro. All right, so I got it. You're gonna be basting Bay, all right? So I'm pick not, up, I, pick up some of that. Bay. Pick up some of that hot butter. With basting bay pick up some of that hot butter and sprinkle it on your forearm. Go ahead. No, I think I should go get the camera and you come do it. Nah, man, I'm, I'm good. I don't cook. Yes, you do. No, 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 no. George is a very good cook. No, no. Okay. I'm he actually try his chocolate cake. He's I'm, very good. I'm actually a, a three Michelin rated star chef. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, in the tire um scenario of it, not food. <laughs> so that oil for the fries needs to be at least 320 degrees, at least. Yeah, I learned how to cook during the Vietnam War. <laughs> Yeah, was, God. I mean, you had to. I mean, out in the jungle, like, we had nothing to eat. Like. Alisa, can you get a shot over here on the... George, what you do to the potatoes, man? I made them curly. Okay, so again, we use the machine to make the curly potatoes. And, um, and they're straight. Yeah, they're straight potatoes, yeah. One... And two, well, man, I, we should call Damon, tell him that he's hired again. All right, let me tell him. Damon, are you coming back? <laughs> <laughs> We're boring, Damon. Too bad, Damon. We, just we miss you. <laughs> we kind of miss you, Damon. <laughs> we actually <laughs> locked, we, we locked the entrance door so you can't even come in and take, the, take our little poster down. And we go again. That's the second one. So... Those pork chops are going in the oven. What we're going to do is, um, right now, we're going to get close to where we put them in the oven and the fries are almost halfway done. And then we'll just go off and start reading off comments and stuff. Yeah. Because reading the comments while we're doing this, you know, yeah. we don't have a script that we're following. We're, we're just, you know, we're just gunning this stuff. So if we're actually stopping and reading and answering while we're cooking, we're just going to end up burning right, everything so and overcooking it. over here, please. Oh, we want man. to put some of that garlic in there. <laughs> Millie says she's going to kill you. <laughs> oh. oh. Millie was forewarned to turn her phone off. <laughs> yeah, Millie, we told you to turn the phone off. We turn hacked off. Millie's phone and got that picture, guys. <laughs> so, these are going in the oven. Four hundred degrees. Damn you! You learned how to hide your g-string, didn't you? Oh, I was waiting I know, for that shot. I, know you were going I was that. waiting for the g-string shot. So I'm gonna get rid of the fat over here. Okay, I'm getting rid of this. And um, what I'm going to do? I'm keeping that. I want that. Okay. That's all the goodness right there. That's, you know, it, it, that's where the flavor is. So I'm going to keep that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add some sugar to it. Let me check on the potatoes real quick. Again, like I said, it's something simple today. Nothing crazy, but simple and delicious. Can't go wrong with that. So, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. If somebody, if another chef was watching, he'll be like, "No, deglaze first. No, I'm not gonna deglaze. Basically, you have one and a half ounce of sugar over here. One and a half ounce. I'm gonna turn it on. Get, I'm gonna melt it a little bit, and then I'm gonna add some spice rum. Basically, That's what I'm talking about. Add the rum. I'm not gonna flambe. I'm just gonna add the rum, and I'm gonna reduce that a little bit. And the pork chops, the pork chops are going back in there. Okay. What's flamboyant? Flambe. Flam when oh. you add the alcohol on what you're cooking and bring all that flavor together, George. Oh, so you, you burn off the alcohol? You, yes, you burn okay. off the alcohol. Yes, sir. Anybody asking? Any? I mean, uh, we're not well, even... No, I said when we go halfway through, then we're going to go start running off all the questions. What was that, sorry? We'll start running off all the questions after we're like halfway through. Yes, halfway through we go through the questions. Because it seems like they're always asking the same questions over and over again. 
<laughs> and we just get delayed on the feed. Yeah. So, you see, um, you it's see melting. It's melting it. It's melting now. That's the Montezuma reaction. There you go, that's what I want. Get that sugar going in there. Yeah, just a little bit and roll. There you go. Oh, I, that smells good. I wish you could smell this. So, again, basically what you want to do here is your little glaze. Man, the alcohol cooks fast. It's evaporated. I could smell everything, too. There you go. So you're going to reduce it. The sea world. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it jizzled me. <laughs> what was... George, can you sh did I burn you? Nah. <laughs> you sure, George? A little schmizzle. Schmizzle. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. <laughs> trickle. Yeah, it's a trickle. Don't get so close, because then, you know, you might get burned, George. I'm zoomed in, bro. I'm nowhere near the pan. Oh, yeah? And I'm going <laughs> to add a pinch of salt <laughs> in there. You know what? Two pinches. Hey, did you just so, get a shot of my ShamWow mic? <laughs> um... Alyssa, look, oh no, no. We're no, doing, no, we're doing ShamWow information later. Sham, what, what is it? ShamWow mic. Or. So, I'm going to add a little bit. Okay, on this, take a look at this real quick. The bones, extra bones, when I was butchering the pork chop, I roasted them. Again, it takes a whole, you know. Yeah, it was it. basically last night after we did the, the other shoot. It's just we a little bit of uh, pork stock, just a little bit. You know, you want to add some flavor to that. Again, I'm going to reduce that. Um, we're getting there with the fries? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's going to take a little bit, a little bit longer than usual because... Uh, it's like a little French fried jacuzzi. Yeah. So... Let me check on the pork chops. Don't put the G-string, George. Thank you. Hey. Okay, so we got the pork chops here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them back on that glaze. And guess what we're doing, George? This is going to be like caramel apples. You see the, the caramel-covered apples? That's basically what's going to happen to these pork chops. The sugars are going to combine all around it. It's not going to be hard like that, but we it's almost like encrust, it. encasing it. There you go. Let me uh, put the heat up over here. Let's get some of that rum flavor, the spices from that rum. Let's get it in there. And at the same time, remember, we have to reduce the glaze. And this dish is healthy because you used real cane sugar that we dried and fermented ourselves, right? <laughs> guys, or, I'm so happy George has some is that Splenda? that I don't have to be going back and forth with you guys. Well, let's see. Last time we checked the mics, the mics were always working. Can you guys hear George? Can somebody tell me if you guys hear George? I'm looking They're at like, the yeah, we don't want to hear him. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm looking at this. <laughs> Can we go right back now? to cutting the mics off? Let's see, let's see. Come on, guys, somebody type. Damon said he can hear us. You can, Damon? Because you're <laughs> right next to us, bro. We mean like the people on the internet. All right, I'll let you go to sleep. I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I had to step out for two seconds. Out the camera. Yeah, I think we we can start running off some uh, questions. Yeah, we can start. 
Let's see. All right. Questions. What are we cooking today? Yeah, there you go, <laughs> loud and clear. <laughs> that damn question. Yeah, what we're cooking today? We're gonna we put like a big cooking. banner over the video that says exactly what we're doing. We're doing some pork chops. We got some um, curly fries, and I'm gonna show you the touch of healthy. I need somebody to move this camera here. The soybean butter. Just take a look at what we have over here. Look at that. So questions. Let's see, loud and clear. If you guys pull your phone out. G string. So said. Sayuri, G-string, yeah, George, when I turn around, George likes to get my backside, and he calls it a G-string. <laughs> give give them a look. This thing over here. <laughs> give us a twirl. Give us a twirl. No, 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 no. Stephanie what? asks, how long does it take the, um, for the pork to cook in the oven? That's a question that you can, <coughs> that's a question that you can only, uh, find on Food Network. No, not on Food oh, Network, George. I'm sorry. It depends how thick. <laughs> it depends how thick your pork chops are. These are this is these are medium size, so it takes after you sear them, baste them, it will take about four, five minutes the most in the oven at 400 degrees. If you get the bigger ones, it will be a little bit more. In, more in time. all honesty, though, because we don't like playing with pork and chicken. I mean, especially me. I honestly burn the crap out of chicken because I don't. I just don't want to chance it. But uh, I would recommend always, always use a thermometer when it comes to chicken and pork. Yeah, always. And the reason for and that is you have to. when you have bones in it, remember, the parts without a bone around it are going to cook faster than ones with the bone in it. So you always want to put a thermometer right there in the middle. That's why we like thick cut. <laughs> George, Millie really said shot, that I she's going to kill you. Melinda. Oh, Nina. She said, save me a plate. No. No. <laughs> is that lamb? No, that's pork. Yeah. Oh, look who's that, George. It's Shane. Shane. What's up, Shane? They're cornflakes, Shane. Shane, you, you have me rolling at the end, because at the beginning, I'm like, like that. That was my face. And George is like, anyways, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming in. Uh, who else? Let's see. Shane said, is that lamb? Shane, you, you, you know, Shane, you're something else, man. I like you. Uh, Ruben, oh, hey, your back. What's up? What's, what's on my back, Shane? You know what? You see what I mean? What? What did Shane say? Anyways, let's see who else. While well, the fries are going, uh, looking good. This is, this is vegan. Is this vegan? Yes, I'm going to explain why this is vegan. The pork is, is the vegetable, which is a vegan thing, and we eat the pork. So there's nothing wrong with that. So that's 100% vegan. Remember that. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, that's about it. Anyways, Nina, you're not here. No, you're not getting any. Simple as that. So basically, these are golden brown. So I'm going to pull them off. Is everybody sharing the links? Oh, come on, guys. I forgot to tell you, but I don't have to tell you this. Share the link. You have to share the link. Share the link. I want more people here. I want your family to see what, what you're doing. You know, I want more followers. This is basically our little project. I need your support, okay? Simple as that. So, I'm pulling the fries out. See that? Yes, nice. Shane. This is fat free, Shane. Nice and golden. Nice and golden. Shane, this is fat free. Okay, so we got our fries over here now. And Do you sprinkle them with love? Yes, we're gonna go with, look at this. This is Ooh. one of the best things ever. Cajun seasoning, Cajun seasoning. We have to do it when it's hot. So you season your fries, okay. And um, let me go ahead and warm up the sauce over here and reduce it just a tiny bit. I want it a little bit more. Like jo uh, George's favorite word is thick. I want this thicker, not so runny. But it's getting there. It's 
See that? So, you want to make sure that it has that glaze in there. And um, when I said something about healthy, this is what I meant. This is one of the few times you're gonna see salad on a bowl like this here, cause uh, I mean, you get the point. We're healthy people. We so look like we eat healthy, but we really don't. Beer belly and all that, that's that. Let me get my little plates. And George, yes, I'm gonna sir. go ahead and, uh, Alyssa, can you uh, take a quick look over here? So those fries, those Cajun fries, I'm gonna turn the plate around, don't worry. Those Cajun fries, you know what, let me, let me try this. George, you wanna try? Do you think, man, do you think? <laughs> Yo, that is good. Nothing crazy, this is just fries with seasoning. You guys can do that at home, I'm sure. Okay. It's almost ready. I'd say a little bit more. Man, that smells good. Oh, yeah. George's favorite stuff, uh, pasting. <coughs> yeah, that's enough, though. That's enough. So, I'm going to get my cutting board dirty over here. Reason? Because I have to remove the twine from the pork chop. Look at that. Let's remove the twine. Man, that's some strong twine. <laughs> it's bungee <Mark> cord. Wire. <laughs> bungee cord. Bungee cord. And again, I'm gonna remove the twine. Uh, that twine gave me an idea, so when George gets on my nerves, I know what I'm using <laughs> to tie him up. Don't think anything bad, eh? Wow. Is so that what think. You, is that what you think of me, bro? Uh, you want to tie me up? What kind of stuff is that? <laughs> so, pork chop. Man, that looks delish. I'm going to put one there. And then on the other one. Oh, yeah. Just take that piece off. I want to I try it. Make it stand up. There you go. And, uh,. You know what, before I do that, I'm going to clean this up because it gets me nervous. Okay, so now I'm going to add the salad. Is this enough, George? Is this enough? Come on, hook it up, man. Hook that's it. enough, there right? Go, that's it. No more than that. That should that be enough. Healthy as shit right that's there. healthy. Oh. I mean, if you put more... You're breaking the diet if you put more. If you have more of that, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah, not healthy. Too, we don't want too many calories. Okay? That's healthy, not healthy if not, you put yeah. more. Anyways, you know what? I'll do you guys a favor. For those that like to eat healthy and are vegan and, and whatnot, you know, this is... Or you can actually reverse it. What? You know, if you, yeah, I mean, vegan, dude. Where did you get vegan out of this plate? Everywhere. The pork right, is the what vegetable. You, what you can do, let's say you are a health <laughs> nut, let's, we'll, we'll keep you with the bowl. Right? Maybe sprinkle on a couple of these wait, um, wait. curly fries as wait, croutons. Wait. wait, a little bit of pepper, but just a bit, a little bit of salt. Ooh. Where's, uh, where did you put the? Are you actually going to use olive oil? Nah. I thought you were going to go with the butter. That's enough. He actually uses butter as salad dressing. The lime. Yes, the lime. I forgot. Thank you, Alyssa. You're welcome. A little bit of lime. That's enough. Okay. And uh look at that. Look 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 how that look at that glaze. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's some of that glaze of that meat. Oh my goodness. Heaven. 
Look at that. You could even go on the potatoes, just a, just a bit. And there you go. Voila. So, let me remove this from the way. You guys can do a close up on the plate if you guys want. I don't know if you already did. We did. It's a healthy dish. Pork chops on a bed of curly fries, Cajun curly fries. That's too much salad to my taste. If it's up to me, I'll have like two or three leaves on that. No more than that. You know, I think it's too much salad. I'm not into. You know what? Can, it can doesn't I, look like I'm into salad. You know what? I mean. what what's that, Damon? Damon said he's hungry, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a little piece. How, what do you think? Alisa, do a closer for you too, please. Is it good? Sure. Por favor. And I remember, guys. I, w I want you guys to follow us on Facebook. Like our page, follow us on YouTube, on Instagram, Twitter, at Flavor Squared. Okay? That's a nice dish. You know Something what? simple. What was that? It's really good. Huh? It's really good. It's really good? Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I mean, put, put the camera up. You're telling me it's good. Who, who cooked it? Who cooked it? Do I have, come on, I mean. Joe up there, the chef. Right. Joe up. Oh, Make sure you guys boy. follow me. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow me at uh, Chef put, Joab on uh, Instagram. Just put Damon to sleep. Yo, I, <laughs> just put Damon to sleep right now. Damon, you're looking good, bro. Nah, man, you're I'm looking not. very good. Anyways, guys, remember, for the glaze, one and a half cup. Excuse me. Yeah, you was, need two ounces of spice rum. Just tell us, yeah. I, I was going to take go a picture. Pass. Okay. No, no, that's fine. Go. I'll do another one later. You said I was gonna take a picture. Did you see the <laughs> The same pan that you guys cook the pork chop, get rid of the fat, add your sugar, get it on that melting point, add the rum, reduce it a little bit, and add a little bit of either vegetable stock if you don't have any pork stock at home or any beef stock. No, George, go ahead, eat the thing, it's okay. We have, we have plenty, it's okay. Um, reduce that a little bit, a pinch of salt, of salt. try that out. Taste it. If you want to add more salt to it, you can do that. And um, that's tonight's, tonight's dish. Simple. Takes you maybe 30 minutes at home to, to create this. Okay? It's nothing crazy. Something simple and good. Okay? Anyways, one more time. Make sure you guys follow us. At Chef Joab on Instagram. Stepping Restaurant at Instagram as well. Now, Flavor Square. Our little thing. Flavor Square. Make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, YouTube. Pinterest, Twitter, show us some love. Go to YouTube, check out our videos. We have a lot of videos in there. You can see tutorials and whatnot. Check us out. Again, I'm happy just for the fact that we managed to get the YouTube uh, situation ready and uh, tonight's first dish. So many more to come. Thank you for checking us out. Uh, thank you for showing your support. I really, I really like that. Uh, that's about it. You guys have a good... Oh, you know what? No, before I go... Let's read off some comments, man. Let's read off some comments. Maria, take, take, take. Yes, I'm Dominican. Let me scroll up a little bit. What? The what? Yo, where's Shane? Shane? I once had a pet pig. Not too sure how I felt about this episode. I swear to God that if I was your neighbor and you had a pet pig, it wouldn't last a day. It'll be roasting. That's that. <laughs> George, what do you tell Shane, please? Can, can, can we get George to eat it afterwards? Yes, you can, of course. Shane, thank you for the pet pig, man. <laughs> you can't sprinkle love. Shane, again. You That's can't. not what she said. That's not what she said, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man, Shane. Let's see, already share. Uh... Yeah, that's about it. Manny, you're late. You, you couldn't make it. You're not eating, brother. Sorry. Yeah, hey, that's it. No, you know. Man, these pork chops are it's, for it's, real. It's something simple. My, um, I couldn't take, I couldn't do a, poor, uh, a picture. George went in on it. I mean, I couldn't help myself, man. I, I, he couldn't help his. <laughs> it's George. You're talking about George. He just go in for it. He don't ask. He just goes for it. Let's see what else. <laughs> People complaining about you, George. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it. Thank you for showing us. 
Love. You guys have a good night. Oh, hold on a second. Next week, Wednesday, I'm going to make the announcement right now. Wednesday, I have a good friend of mine coming in. His name is Chef Kelvin. We're going to do something special for you guys. I'm going to have a guest as well. Thursday, we have somebody real cool. I'm not going to tell you the name. We have somebody real cool coming in. Those two days, um, we're not picking anyone to come in. We already have a list of a few friends and uh, people that work with us. Uh, so the list out of the blue, yes, it got pretty big. Um, I'm not, I, I can't go back <laughs> to the comments now. Just for now, uh, we have a few people coming in. So uh, make sure you guys come in next week. You guys are going to love the uh, next week uh, show. It's going to be real fun. Again, Chef Kelvin is going to join us on Wednesday, okay? And I have a special guest as well on Wednesday. So anyways, that's about it. I want to show you guys what's left of this pork chop. Show, the, show YouTube. Show YouTube, because YouTube, uh, right, YouTube. YouTube camera when... when this uh, was left of that pork chop. That's what's left for the pork chop. <laughs> yes, I actually gnawed the bones. That's George for you. All right, have a good night, guys. See ya.